These are scenes that people walk by every day. Instead of looking at big grand scenes, we decided to, to study the, the scenes that people take for granted. And the funny thing is, is that when you, when you delve down on some of these scenes, you'll find out that they're grand. We are scaling down the work and we find that, you know, as we go into the macro work of, the, of, of nature, as we walk by it, there's so much beauty there that people really, you know, should take a minute to study. You have to feel like you could walk in that scene. We have a mutual friend that, that kept telling me that, you know, I need to meet this girl. And her name is uh, Susan Russell Hall. She's very happy, so you, you really love this one. She's like so happy all the time. So we met and we talked about doing a project together and it was true, she was very happy. I mean, she was the happiest person I ever met and I renamed her as Happy. <laughs> my nickname my whole life was Tadpole, so, so actually we are happy in Tadpole. Tadpole. <laughs> <laughs> when we started working together, we realized right away that we had um, parallel aesthetics. Artists, you know, they're, they're very set in their ways. So having two people as artists work together very often is um, kind of can be stressful. So then we have to apply the wax over again and start all over. And the funny thing is, is 90% um, of the time um, we're really happy. Sometimes we say, you know what, we have to change this or that. We're basically melting the wax off and then applying carbon to it. This is the beautiful thing about um, working as artists. We're, we're massaging these pieces. You can see the interruption um, in, the, in the image. And each one of these pieces, it, it tells us what it wants to do and we just listen and we follow that, that direction. So. You'll be in there working and you're working with wax. I've got my, <laughs> my hands completely loaded with brushes. So we have two yeah. sets of artist eyes that can kind of watch over as yeah. we create and do things. I use a very small brush, one millimeter, and go in with tiny, tiny detail. The most important part of each one of our uh, pieces of art is not the encaustics or the photography, I believe it's the painting. She's really into detail. When she's working with oils on these large paintings, they could go 30, 40 hours. We're still working yeah. to try to get that deep sense of, of three dimensions. We will have up to nine layers of material. And so we just want to give the viewer a chance to come in and visit the forest and just stay there. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The priority in this piece was to control the perspective. So it's a forced perspective down this road. In a weird way, even though we're stuck in a two-dimensional plane, it feels as you walk up, because you have the painting, the wax, the levels of wax, which is thick in itself, and, and then the, the, the layers of light that go back, it feels three-dimensional. And this is something we happened on as we, we kept talking, like, oh my God, this actually works. <laughs>